Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 29 of my Red Dead Redemption 2 Let's Play series. I'm gonna go over and talk to Sade. Alright, let's go over here. Go see what Sadie, what Sadie wants to talk to us about. She doing? This is Adler. You okay? Reach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering. Fighting and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them O'Driscolls. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a comb swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me. And to my husband? You're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. All right, Sadie. I'll help you. I'll tell you what. I'll do it. But there's something you can help me with. Abigail? Jack? John? Make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes... Or how do you mean... When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape. When I... You know, you and me... We're more ghosts than people. But them... They... They could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? Go, Sadie. Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. God, man. Arthur should have got Mercedes. She's a little bit crazy, but... You know. She cares. She cares. Hey. Hey. What's going on? I think there's a bunch of them in there, mostly drunk. One of them is a fat fella with a beard. Him, he's mine. Sure. How are we doing this? We're just going in. <clears throat> All right. Hey, Ooh. It's a big ranch, run down, lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we'll we'll take it from there. Take it from there. Okay. So no real plan then. Oh, mm -hmm. I got a plan. Now come on. I know that woman. She was with Doc. You're all right, she was with Dutch. Don't need to get around him when you blow his fucking brains out. Come 
Really? Oh, Jesus. Alright, if I could run, that would help. Fucking hell. Yeah. He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, swipe the blood into your every eyes. Day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. Mm. I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. We, uh, we should get away from her. Yeah. Fucking hell, man. That was brutal. He's coated in blood. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Fucking hell, dude. Horse, get away from the burning barn. You don't want to be around here. Trust me. You've discovered an enemy gang hideout. And they're all dead. Albert Mason. Oh, he's fucking wildlife photography. I forgot about that. So, we have to at least do uh, some kind of mission. to get the next story mission unlocked. It's just figuring out what that is. Um, hmm. I don't know. All right. I don't know exactly what we have to do to get it to activate. Apparently, what we just did should activate the next thing. But it doesn't look like it has unless I have to go back to camp or something. Because riding up to the top of the... Up to the top to see the... Captain is going to take a fucking long time. Where the hell are we anyway? Oh, Jesus. We're so far away from anything. I mean, we could go to Val uh, to here, and then we can go into Valentine and take a stagecoach, I guess. Might be the plan. Might be the best way to do things. Pay off our bounty. We've got the money to do so. 
I'm sorry, Sally. I keep fucking you up real bad. I'm going to kill you one day, the way I'm going. I've got horse revive kits on me. I believe I've got another one, because I accidentally did that also when I was riding originally to Sadie. I, like, fell off a cliff and just slammed face first into a tree. It's pretty brutal, actually. Absolutely brutal. We'll go here, we'll go to the post office, pay off our bounty, and then we can ride into Valentine if we want. Take a stagecoach up to wherever. At least somewhere closer to camp so we don't have to ride for as long. Coughing in your sleeve, sir. I really can't afford to get sick again this month. Why don't you just do your job? Uh, of course, sir. Sorry. It's just a polite request, is all. Thanks yeah, for your well, come back when we have new stop. Oh, you know what? I'll get some food from you, actually. Say, you, you don't look so good, partner. You all right there? Not really. Better, but that's how it goes. Mm. What have you got? Just easy to browse the catalog, I guess. Some horse care stuff, even. Okay, sold out of horse revivers. That's fun. We could grab that. Uh, we need provisions. Much obliged. Done deal. Thanks for all this, dude. All yours. All right. Let's get out of this. Let's go. Thanks, man. That's it for now. Got a bunch of food now. Mm. Oh my god. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to do that. Thank you. Alright. Uh, I guess let's ride into Valentine. Stagecoach. Oh, we're gonna go the other way. No, we're gonna, well, kind of. We can just get down to this road. Yeah, maybe I do have to talk to the captain to do this. Which is kind of annoying. I just get back to camp, that'll be fine. And let's see. Should have gotten more horse provisions. Give you some sage, though. Help your stamina core out. Man, it's been a long time since I've been to Valentine. Place wouldn't have changed much. We 
This ride can't be that far. I'm not going to bother with that stuff right now. Got more important fish, fish to fry. Mm. Oh man, I see it. I see Valentine. Fucking hell. We told you not to build on this land, motherfucker. I can give you a brush. Is that all you wanted? You wanted a brush? Yo, I can do that. Here you go. God damn it. Fuck it. Guess we can't brush ya. Whatever. No. Fuck off. How you doing? Real hungry here. Take a ride. Can I get a ride? Where can I take you? Um. Fuck. Let's see. Is this do not seek absolution money lending and other sins I think this is one we have to do um so what's Annisburg I guess is the closest that we can go can you take me to Annisburg please let's settle in then this will be a long one that's fine Can we get an old Skipper Rooney? Horse is just gonna follow me slowly. I mean, I, I, I will say certain things in Red Dead Redemption 1 I preferred, like stagecoach is way more convenient to use. I've done a lot more running around or riding my horse in this Red Dead than what I did in Red Dead 1 when I did my recent playthrough of it. A couple months ago. Like, I knocked that game out pretty quick thanks to the stage coaches. This, not so much. Cheers, dude. Alright, let's go to camp. That was way better than spending 15 years riding over to here. Like, riding over to camp. Especially for eight dollars, like, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you just take the stagecoaches? You got the opportunity to really. I've done those ones. I'm so over all the little missions. Like one day I'll go back and maybe I'll try and hundred hundred percent this game or something. Maybe, but I'm not gonna bother with it. On my first playthrough, like, some people went all in. They stayed in, like, Chapter 3 for, like, a hundred hours, which is madness. You imagine if this freaking series was, like, 300 parts long? That's absurd. Absolutely absurd. Oh, he's fucked. Alright, good luck. gonna help him but the prompt went away it was probably like give me a health tonic or something of that description good to see she got herself cleaned up motherfucker called me a dumbass I kicked him in the fucking head all right, Strauss. What's going on over here? Mr. Morgan. 
Hey, Strauss. How are you? About... About how I look. Okay. Are you, um... Are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Huh? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... figure. Figure, huh? huh. All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. I would say it's not a lack of vigor, it's the fact that they don't want to help you with dumb shit. Okay. Like always. Alright. But there was one in Annisburg. I only see Edith Downs in Annisburg. Holy fuck! Why is this ride so convoluted? Are you trying to wreck the place? Okay, okay, keep your hair on. Oi. Ha. I'm fucking trying to go over here, you wank. Shut up, John. You cocksucker. Fucking hell. You're just fucking sitting down, staring at nothing. You could have gone and done this shit instead of me. It's the only problem, like, where our camp is, there's so many twists and turns because of all the cliff faces and everything. Getting anywhere is a fucking journey and a half. I've tried to brush you many times, horse. Let me brush you, then. Thank you. Oh, oh we we're gonna go in the water anyway. Fuck's sake. Probably would have counted as cleaning you. Because of the cliff faces, we literally can't ride any direct direction. Like, you just can't go direct to the, to the objective, ever. We can take some small shortcuts, which isn't a bad thing. Oh, for fuck's sake. The fuck? Die. Die! Your horse is agitated by the predator. This weapon is in poor condition. Oh, I don't care about that. Particularly. Yeah. Well, apparently I can't... can't do anything when I'm on the horse, I guess. I can't clean it. So that'll have to... No, I can, but I guess I have no gun oil on me or something. Which I should... Apparently I don't. Holy shit, I'm gonna stack and eat crap in a minute. How far is this idiot away? We're gonna end up chasing him and lassoing him and all this crap again as well. That's what ends up happening every time. We gotta get a... We gotta get a debtor's... Money. Find John Weathers. J. John Weathers. 
Hello. How you doing, sir? J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them. Just, is there any way you can help me? I stay out here. There won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Form up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'm, I'll do what I can for you. Fucking hell. Oh, great. Always fighting with the damn army, man. Alright, alright, alright. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Shut up! God damn it. Um. still save something really now look you can take the silver locket for the debt <sighs> damn the dad just get her somewhere safe go on thank you fella you know there ain't enough kindness in this world that's for sure but you I don't Well, that absolved. Fantastic. Was done fantastical. That's what I would have liked. Right. Now we're going to go all the way back into fucking Annisburg. Oh, mate. All right, so this episode is going to be a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but we're going to do this mission at least before we end off this episode. That's how we're going to rock it. We're going to kick it first person. Makes it easier to ride, in my opinion, at least through these tight cliffs and stuff. You can at least see where you're going just that tad easier. Can we cut through? Is that possible? Like, can we make a shortcut here? Mm, nope. We're going to drive it off a cliff. Fuck. I was really hoping that would lead me a better route, but I guess not. Yeah, it's a hundred times easier, I think, to ride in first person when you're on the tight cliffs for sure. Like I said, you can definitely, you can just see easier what's coming up ahead of you. Oh, 
So we killed the wolves. Smallest of shortcuts. Feels like we're getting back. Like we're heading back there a lot faster than what it was to get there. I wonder if your horse actually goes faster downhill than what it does uphill or anything like that. Whether that's... Or whether it's just a flat, flat speed. I don't care. I'll stay out of your way. I'm not going to bother with that crap. I'm fucking dying here and I'm doing debt collection miss missions for a German guy. Is that a bear back there? Must have been. Sounded like one. Go away. Button's still following us. It's gone. Oh, Jesus. Didn't take the turn sharp enough and nearly just ate shit on the ground. Yep. Alright, where is this idiot? Wanted dead or alive in Annisburg. Yay. Way down there towards the coal face. Right. Do I gotta go in? Oh. Right. All right there. You got any business at the mine? I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry. Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Oh, great. I do have to go in here. All right, let's go. Out of the way! Question Arthur the foreman. Londonderry. Here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh boy, you can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, <sighs> but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. Neither am I, dickface. Great. Man, what a fucking asshole. Ha ha, Arthur's dead. Hilarious. I'm not! Oh my god. You people make me angry. I was just in there talking to the foreman. Trying to get the fuck out of here and go get this stupid dead absolved. So I can move on with what little life I have left. Running around doing errands for idiots. Tapping X a thousand times till my thumb falls off. 
It's probably the biggest thing that I don't like about stuff like the, the Red Dead games or even the GTA games is having to spam X to, or like X or whatever A, whatever, you know, button on your controller is to run um, for you. Just continuously spam it. Fuck this. You really want to do this, idiots? Billy motherfucker. It's please. Please. Oh my god, it's locked. Oh wow, this is fancy. Sleep till the morning, screw it. Definitely be unlocked by then. Be able to actually go and complete the mission. Complete the mission, you're the only one left. Now let's leave. Tear down the camp. Where the fuck did it put us? Put us so far away, and in such an awkward spot to get up there. Up. Oh, beautiful. Well, that fixed the problem. Instead of me just standing out the side, out front, just doing that shit for an hour. I know. I'm sorry for it. It's just... We lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No! No, I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. I just wanted to say the debt canceled and to you know, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Well, you're a good man. I just Thank wish you. you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. Well, that's not my fault. I didn't fucking lend him the money. Maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like, not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. Wow. Come on, pal. Go to confront Leopold Strauss. Oh, are we gonna fucking get into some shit? 
Can we smack a can we smack a German man in the head for being such a insensitive asshole? I mean, by the same token, like in real life, right? They have things in place that say you bank, right? Let's say you borrow, I don't know, a thousand dollars. Let's say you get a personal loan of a thousand dollars, or no, oh, well, minimum's usually about five. Right, let's say personal loan minimum five grand. Now. They want their debt their debt paid consistently. So say once a fortnight you pay a hundred dollars or a hundred and thirty dollars or hundred and fifty dollars, whatever. Now if you wanted to skip a payment because you didn't have the money, um, you're looking at like going for an entire financial team that assesses why you can't pay the debts and everything and tries to either reduce your payments or reduce the interest or a bunch of other things didn't exist back then like in this time frame didn't exist wasn't wasn't a thing you know I'm sure it would have saved a lot of people's lives if that was a thing instead of just instantly assuming hey we're gonna shoot a man in the face or just threatening him continuously all right Leopold you motherfucker How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just then. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you, though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here. Take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. Jesus. Catch you later, stress. <laughs> Fucking hell. God damn, man. That felt good. Fuck you, Strauss. Scumbag. Morning, All right. Morning, Abigail. Don't you give me that look. So just like that, Strauss is gone? For his own good. This is done, Abigail. Okay, I'll catch you later then. I guess. Reverend, I think you did the right thing with Herr Strauss. It was time. Thank you. Let's see what everybody else says. I did what had to be done. You all right? I Are you all did. right? I'm not saying Strauss anything. is gone. It was time. Silly. You ain't gonna kick me out too, are you? No. You we need. Why is everybody being an ass? Fuck you all. You're all fucking scum. I hate it. I hate how everyone's like, oh, You're such a piece of shit. Oh, how dare you do that to him? He was a fucking dickhead. An absolute piece of crap. It makes me so so mad. Alright, well. Anyway, guys and girls, that's going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Red Dead Redemption 2 in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. 
Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Ring that bell, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, poi!